Leighton Van Der Esch, how many sacks will he get? Uh, I'll put the over under at one. I know that sounds like nothing, but he didn't have any last year, and he's not the blitzer of the duo. That's Jalen Smith. I don't think you want Van Der Esch blitzing all that much. That's not maximizing his abilities. If you're going to blitz a linebacker, hey, make sure you end up blitzing Jalen Smith. I think that's a better route for the Cowboys, and with the way the roster is overall built, you probably want Van Der Esch in coverage and in space. Anthony Harrison, how many yards and touchdowns will Michael Gallup have? I like this one. So last year, 33 for 507 and two touchdowns. So I'll put the over under. Uh, I'll put it at 45, which might be a little low, but that's not how they use Gallup as a, as a slot guy. 600 yards and five touchdowns. I'm kind of going on the high side, I know. That's my over under there for Michael Gallup. If he and Dak can just get that deep ball down. Oh, it was so close so many times last year. Matt S., how do you feel about this Cowboys team compared to last year's Cowboys team? I feel better about it, especially from where we started. Like this time last year, I was iffy about the team making the playoffs. I, I was not convinced about it. I was worried about the receiving core, and I was right to be worried about the receiving core. That's why I traded for Amari Cooper. So from where we were a year ago, I feel better about this year's squad. From Val Castillo, is Alan Hearns going to stay on the roster, or will he be moved or cut? He has not been guaranteed a roster spot. There's been some buzz the Cowboys got asking for a pay cut. Look, right now, Alan Hearns is at best your number four receiver. I'm not paying that $5 million. That does not make any sense from a roster building construction. So, he's not guaranteed anything there. Devin Frost, who leads the team in interceptions this year? Good question. Uh, how about Xavier Woods? Pretty close to a couple of big plays last year. Byron Jones is not a playmaker. He's more of a, uh, of a lockdown guy. Doesn't allow a lot of completions. I'm going to go with Xavier Woods there. Samuel Russell, should we have gone for two defensive tackles with our second and third round picks? I'm going to go with no. A, the value wasn't right. There was not a guy we're taking there in round three if Gerald, if Gerald Lewis was off their board. And look, I like Dale and Mack. He wasn't worth a third round pick either. So my answer is no on that front. If anything, it should have gone safety earlier. Did Derry Jones issue a threat to Jason Garrett with his comments yesterday about the team being better? Yes and no. I don't think it's a threat because I think J J Jason Garrett already knows what's going on here. Jerry Jones expects to win a lot of games this year and expects to, ma to make a deep playoff run. If that, if that doesn't happen with Garrett in the last year of his deal, he gone. All right, Sonny Rivers with all the numbers that Dak has put up over the past three years and his record being 30, 32 and 16, why is there so much hate on Dak? Because he misses ugly? Like, I mean, like, like when Dak misses throws, it's pretty obvious a lot of times. But Dak's, and I know Dak's not perfect, but look, guys, if we had told any person out there three years ago, hey, your first-year quarterback, your rookie, Dak Prescott, is going to win you two NFC's titles. You're going to win a bunch of games. He's going to put up really solid numbers. You'd be ecstatic. I think we need to adjust our expectations. Everyone wants Dak to be 100 all the time and be perfect, but that's not how the NFL works. In reality, 70% completion percentage or 75% completion percentage, that's more perfect. Every quarterback misses throws. I, just, I, I think we put way too much and too high expectations on Dak relative to any other quarterback out there. Brett Rowe, where would you rank the Cowboys D this season? I'd say at least top 10. It was a great unit last year. I need more playmaking ability, so I'm going to rank him top 10. Andy asks, who has better stats, Gallup or Cobb? I could see Cobb having more receptions, but I think Gallup has more touchdowns and more yards this year for how I expect the Cowboys to use those two players. From De DeNorman7, do you think we have the best linebacker group we've had in a long time? Probably, if we're not counting the three, four years where DeMarcus Ware was an outside linebacker, even though he's really just a pure edge. So, I, I think, yeah, I think, I think that's the case. Gabriel Rodriguez, are there any backup quarterbacks in 2020 that the Cowboys could draft? Yeah, I mean, let's see how they develop. I think it's a little early to be targeting backup quarterbacks. But, yeah, there will be some more drafting. Early thoughts, this next year's quarterback class does look better than this year's pass group. From Jamie Cheatham, how many rushing TDs will Zeke have and who holds the record? Well, okay, let's start with the first one there. Um, first off, I'm curious if I mean, like, season, because that's LT. 
Rush touchdowns does Eagle have? Um, again, I'll put the over under at like 12. That's no, that's too high. How about 10? 10 for 10 for uh, for. For, for for Zeke, and then of course all time is Emmett Smith. Manster54, long time watcher. How much do you think Witten will play? The Cowboys said he was only going to play 25 snaps per game. I'm taking the over on that one. Witten doesn't like to come off the field. He wants to play a lot. I think it's going to be the over there. Shannon, after the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, where can we meet? Uh, we'll party in downtown Dallas. How about that? Have a nice fun party right there. That's what we'll do. Glover Brothers 333, who leads the team in sacks this year? Demarcus Lawrence. Easy question on that one. No disrespect to Robert Quinn or Crawford, even Jalen or anybody else out there. It's going to be Demarcus Lawrence. Marlon, which rookie do you think will have the biggest impact on the field this season? I think Tristan Hill is your safest bet. With that said, I wouldn't rule out McGovern winning a starting spot. I think he's a very good player. And then Tony Pollard will make some certainly some splash plays. So from an offensive impact in a noticeable way, watch out for Pollard. The dude's quick. Val, what happened with Chauncey Gardner-Johnson and that Alabama safety? One of them had a health issue. But we passed on them a lot of times. Uh, so for Gardner-Johnson, he tanked the interview process. Uh, nothing went right for him. He was, I thought, a top 50 talent at least. Fell to round four. He did not interview well. Now, Deontay Thompson, the Bama safety, had medical issues. He's only a true free safety. The Cowboys in the draft weren't really in the market for one of those guys because they already have Xavier Woods. If Garrett gets fired and Mike Tomlin doesn't do well in Pittsburgh, do you all want Mike Tomlin as head coach or Richard? I'd rather go with Chris Richard, honestly. I don't think Mike Tomlin's that good. Like, he's had a great offense, a great roster, and frankly, he's lost control of the of the locker room multiple times in Pittsburgh. I think Tomlin's a little bit overrated, quite frankly. From, I hope I get your name right, Ganny Frazier, how many receiving yards and touchdowns will Jason Witten have? Ah, good question. Um, last time he played, he had 63 for 560 and three touchdowns. So let's cut that more in half. Let's go like 32 for 255 and, and two or three scores. I, I just, I don't really know what to expect from Witten this year. He's been away from the game for a year. Let's see what kind of shape he's in. I, I just, I don't know what, what's going to happen there. Should we expect a 16,000 rushing yard performance from Zeke for a Super Bowl run? He ran for 14 last year. I, I will lean towards no. He'll hit 16 in total yards, so probably approach 2K in that area. But 16 might be the, the the max on that one. So there's a chance, but I don't think you should expect that. Hope for it, but expect for more like 14. I think that just kind of tempers your expectations a little bit there. If Mike Jackson or Michael Jackson could say pick six, would he do MJ moves? I hope so. I mean, like. The jokes write themselves. He sh I, look, if your name is Michael Jackson and you can't moonwalk, I, I mean, what are you doing with your life at, 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 at that point, frankly? Jamie, will anyone ever break Emmett's rushing record? I don't think so. Not in today's NFL where it's harder to, to you know, you take a, more, a tougher beating at running back. So I don't think so unless they expand beyond 16 games. Then maybe in that case, but... I think that's a record that's going to stand for a really, really long time. Shannon says Witten will have 450 yards and five touchdowns. Book it. I mean, okay, I'm in. It would match his, his career high since 2014, so we'll see. I, I mean, I don't – it's possible, but a lot of expectations for that didn't play at all last year. From Glover, do you think that Dak Prescott will be better than he was last year? I certainly hope so. I think the offensive line is going to be a little bit better with Frederick back. The running game should be the same. Receiving core should be the same, if not better. And the coaching staff should be better. So, yeah, I think that Dak's going to be better than he was last year, even though the schedule is going to be tougher. Don't underestimate that impact. From Bailey Nichols, is Eric Berry still a possible option at safety if he comes cheap on a prove-it deal? It's all about the medical, and I don't think the medical checked out very well. So we'll see. Again, I'm down with it. A one-year Minimum guaranteed money, which Barry, I think, don't. I don't think he wants that, obviously. But if the medical checks out, bring him in in a heartbeat. If it doesn't, 
your doctors are not going to sign off for it. Therefore, you're not getting him. Daryl Thomas, how many sacks do you think Demarcus Lawrence gets this year? A good question. Again, I think this picture is always going to be double digit sacks. He had 10.5 in 2018, 14.5 in 2017. Put the over under at 11. And honestly, I might end up taking the over in that scenario. And if you can get double digit sacks every year, that's really, really good production. That is elite production, quite frankly. Today's show brought to you guys by wagertalk.com. Head over to wagertalk.com slash chat sports to get a free daily pick package. Yeah, get some extra money from some guys that make a ton of it with Wager Talk. It's a free daily pick package, wagertalk.com slash chat sports. From Gary, any rumor, any rumors on cuts upcoming at safety and can we fit to? So okay, we mentioned Anthony Meatballs once, so I'll do this one quickly here. My bad. Jason Witten is going to be your number one. Gary's asking about cuts on safety. There are not going to be any cuts right now. And if there are guys that are cuts, it's like the bottom 85th to 90th of your roster there. Now, in terms of Sue, I don't think the Cowboys are going to add him. You're really loaded at, 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 at the defensive tackle spot in terms of depth. You want to play Tristan Hill. You want to play Malik Collins. And you want to play Antoine Woods. Doesn't make sense at that point to bring in Sue and have him have kicked somebody down to your fifth spot. So I don't think that that's a good route there for the Cowboys. So I do not anticipate Sue coming into the Dallas Cowboys. If you want to sign a one-year, $1 million deal, sure. But I don't anticipate that one happening. From V. Killets, will the Cowboys try to utilize Dak more and have him not be a game manager? Look, if you want to win in today's NFL, you got to let your quarterback throw it. And here's the thing. We've seen Dak do it in the fourth quarter. So yes, you still want to run the football, and that's smart. But... Let Dak throw it a little bit. Let him use the pass to open up the ground game. That works in today's NFL. Use those early down play actions. It worked every damn time the Cowboys called it. The Cowboys in particular, by the way, should rank number one in play action. They were middle of the road last year. I mean, that's unacceptable. That cannot happen next season. Manster 54 do you think we looked uh, set up to get more turnovers? I hope so, but you didn't really add impact guys in the secondary. So I hope you make more plays, but you're probably banking on Cheetah Bay and Anthony Brown and Byron Jones and Xavier Wood just to step up. Then you are bringing in another guy that's going to thrive in that area of, of the field. So I hope so, but we'll see. Trap House, are the Redskins a threat now with Dwayne Haskins? Let's see how he plays. The Cowboys are still better, even with Dwayne Haskins. Like, I don't know if Haskins is going to be better than Alex Smith would have been if he, was, if he was healthy, at least in year one. So I'm still far more worried about the Philadelphia Eagles than I am worried about the Russian Redskins, and certainly not the New York football Giants because Daniel Jones is garbage. He's not, he's not a good quarterback. So I'm not worried about that one whatsoever. Guys, we'll put this on loop if you missed anything, so don't go anywhere here on the Cowboys Report. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.